today I'm gonna be start preparing, um, tagging all my jewelry pieces that I'm gonna be bringing to my flea market. I think mostly are gonna be vintage and antiques, the ones that I'm gonna be putting my price tags along because that's gonna definitely save a lot of my time. And for my pieces that are made by myself, which are already presented in my atelier, I have to start thinking which products I'm gonna be taking with me for this event because it's gonna be a 10 days event, which means I do have to be a little more smart and practical so i'm thinking which price tag i'm gonna be using because i have two different versions i have a uh, brown colored ones and black colored ones and i'm trying to figure out which one would be more suitable for my um pop up my flea market this time so we'll see
about my coming up pop-up event slash flea market. So for the theme, I wanted to aim for 1900s. Yes, it's very old. <laughs> I wanted to make it very romantic as possible. So I'm thinking of using a lot of ribbons to make my uh, booth to look very romantic yet modern at the same time. So I don't know how that's gonna work out, but let's see how that's gonna work. And for this event specifically, I have ordered some postcards. I have designed four different kinds of postcards to present it on the table and a lucky draw for the customers who's purchasing the product. So I'm not yet quite sure how is this gonna work. I'm gonna be bringing my silver but also my gold products, vintage and antique pieces of course as well where you get to pick up um, the jewelry pieces at the event or it has to be order made so you can write down your name your specific orders your address and later on after the event is over i'm gonna be sitting at my desk again <laughs> to make my jewelry and deliver it to the customers right now it was more like brainstorming so i've got around 10 more days but i would think of that as a week you have to cut off all the weekends where you cannot really do much so from next monday or tuesday i'm thinking of going to the market and i have to buy a lot of stuff i'm gonna try to minimize all that because i do have a very bad habit of buying in a very big amount because it's cheaper and of course i have space here but it doesn't mean I have unlimited space. I will come back with another updated list and updated video. So I will see you all in a bit. Bye! struggle a bit from ribbon shopping because there were just so many colors and variations that I wanted to get so 
I had to go back to my original plan and look through what are the stuff that I really need. 